Human behavior has always been a mystery. Why do people do what they do? Why do they react one way when we expected something else? How do we learn to understand, connect with, enroll, engage, align with people most effectively? Hi, I'm Christine Kemaford, founder of Smart Tribes Institute, and welcome to our Smart Tribes Crack the Behavior Code podcast. In each episode, you'll learn practical, easy to use tools to better understand and change human behavior. These tools will help your team outperform, out engage, outsell the competition. In other words, to become a smart tribe. Oh, and you'll find these tools super helpful in your personal life too. Let's go. Is your onboarding optimal? Do hires get powerfully connected to your tribe in record time? Thanks to the team at Silk Road for a terrific template onboarding plan, and we'll have a link in the uh, show notes. We think it's brilliant, and we'll want to note in italics that we've added our own items to their list below to boost safety, belonging, mattering. And because when we increase safety, belonging, and mattering, we honor our goal of the onboarding goal, equals to boost safety, belonging, and mattering, which requires us to increase engagement, retention, performance, clarity, and to create a potent culture. I wrote a blog on this uh, for Forbes a while ago, and we're just gonna link the blog to the show page that will save everybody time. So you can propel the success of a new hire's onboarding experience with the following checklist. And it's gonna be helpful for you to have a visual format of this. This will help you ensure that your employee really has that onboarding experience and it starts early and it remains consistent. This is where we usually make mistakes. So we wanna ensure that the new hire feels emotional engagement, understands the culture, how to be compliant with the policies. We wanna set them up for success. And to do this, we have to navigate certain emotional engagement touch points. And you'll see a visual in the blog that we link to on the show page, but I want you to think about this. So visualize a series of uh, boxes, like a workflow. And I'm gonna read off what each of the boxes is. So first, when we place the, the uh, help wanted ad, right? That post, that's when we first start the emotional engagement. Then at interview, at offer, at offer acceptance, before the employee starts, at day one, at week one, in the first 30 to 90 days, we have touch points after 90 days, and then after 90 days ongoing, and then the first year ongoing. Yes, <laughs> onboarding starts when you first post the job and onboarding is ongoing seriously after that. So let's break this down. So when placing that help wanted post, we wanna make sure that we use our recruiting process to ensure value alignment and seriously save 60 or more hours per new hire. Our clients love this. Again, you'll see the link on the show page through the blog. At interview, we want to align with values and interview for values. So we want to make sure that you guys look at the link for recruiting for values and accountability. We want to go over the cultural game plan. So for instance, game stands for growth, appreciation, measurement, and engagement. So some ideas for growth are individual development plans, right? Leadership lunches, which is kind of a cool way of doing a book club. Um, annual learning, maybe 24 hours for all in terms of annual learning and two weeks for leadership. Appreciation, high fives, you know, rock star employee of the month, whatever, weekly wins, Friday toast, measurement, accountability structures, weekly status, dashboards, feedback, counseling, performance reviews, engagement, mission, vision, values, coffee with the CEO, which is kind of a nice skip level format, company contests, visual, auditory, kinesthetic goals, goals where everybody sees the progress that we're all shooting for. So growth, think about this. When we can see that sample IDP, individual development plan, we can show that to somebody. Hey, here's an example of one of our people and their growth plan. And here's then what we did to support them in it. Um, that shows a lot. Appreciation. Here's some examples of how we acknowledge each other. Measurement. All of us have needle movers, KPIs, whatever you want to call them here. Here are some examples. And here are some examples of how we review ourselves for performance. 
engagement. Here is our most recent uh, employee engagement survey. Uh, we want to show a sample benefits summary. Here are the benefits that you get here and be sure to include the softer benefits, right? The, uh, the benefit of the various awards that you have for employees, et cetera. Role specific questions, great. At the offer, right, we want to provide their own personal benefits summary so they can really get their head around, wow, I don't just earn what I earn here. I earn all this extra stuff based on all these extra programs. Cool. At offer acceptance, at offer acceptance, welcome a board letter with a lot of safety, belonging, mattering. So they really feel that they are here, they're appreciated, they're seen. We want to send a, a basket of goodies or logo wear, right, to their home. So their significant other, their family can enjoy it. We want to set up access, of course, to all company systems and tools. Now, before the employee starts, right, here's some pretty obvious stuff, right? Add them to the onboard, onboarding system, right? So all the other departments know. Begin that engagement, right? Send that electronic offer letter, link to the new hire portal, right? Share the company mission, vision, values, and other key info. Send a personalized, helpful company welcome that tells them all their details. Give them, of course, links to pre-populated forms to complete before their first day. Monitor progress on their workspace, desk, phone, et cetera, computing device. Help their manager prepare with their online planner and their agenda. Okay, here comes day one, woo. Help the employee get the lay of the land, right? Facility tour, voicemail, et cetera. Announce the new employee arrival on email so everybody greets them and it's exciting. Discuss the culture and the mission and the policies and the benefits that are shared on your employee portal, right? Review the onboarding plan so that everybody's kind of enrolled. Host a culture welcome, right? Focused on people, right? This, the, maybe the CEO or at least the senior leader in that area can pop in, have lunch with some peers. Balloons, welcome sign, something cute in their office, right? Share a standard story via PowerPoint, right? Of some fun company cultural things that we do. Show how the different departments support each other, right? Have some storytelling about the company, the company overall, how it came to be. Then have a good time, right? With really helping them step into what's it gonna be like here, right? Intro them to their buddy who's gonna help them navigate the company and be their trusted source of asking questions that might be kind of uncomfortable, right? Company specific tools training, lay of the land, right? Week number one, enroll the employee in any special interest groups you guys have, you know, further develop that buddy program, set the job scope and performance expectations, keep checking in to make sure they're okay, discuss the company resources, train on the different networks, right? So all these things review those tool specific trainings coming up, talent or HR should check in to make sure how everything is going, right? And then we really want to help them understand how they're gonna learn and stretch and grow here. We also wanna help them understand the feedback frame, how we give feedback by saying what's working is blank and what I'd like to see more of is blank. In the first 30 to 90 days, you're gonna honor their monthly anniversaries and achievements, have a survey about their new, uh, the new hire's experience, right? Allow for job shadowing, monitor their progress on their onboarding, really allow for some exposure to what it's like in the field or what it's like to be a customer, give them some exposure to that, introduce them to the key leaders, keep checking in on how their buddy is going, right? We want to do a short employee engagement survey in their first 30 days or so, just to see how they're doing. At 90, they're gonna co-create, if they haven't already, their individual development plan with their leader. They're gonna co-create their KPIs or their needle movers with their leader, right? We wanna make sure that their leader notices that they're getting some high fives and they're giving some high fives to their peers. And then we want a formal buddy check-in. How are they doing, right? 90 days ongoing, remind about the cool company programs, volunteering, leadership lunches, et cetera. Remind about the company benefits and how to leverage them. Their first year ongoing stay connected with that two-way feedback, formally and informally. Really integrate the employee into the formal learning and development program. Recognize those achievements. Communicate ongoing opportunities for training and growth. 
encourage participation in voluntary company activities, remind about cool benefits and programs, celebrate their anniversary, right? Continue to monitor and extend their super cool growth plan. Continue those self evals. So I want us to, as you see this, and as you see on the show page, the link to this uh, Forbes blog where I covered this in more detail, see this as a template, uh, make this yours, make it work best for you, all right? Great, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for joining me on this episode. Every listen, every share, every review helps others form their own smart tribes where teams are engaged, happy, and optimally performing. Together, you and I can help millions of people crack the behavior code in their organizations, families, and communities. I invite you to take two minutes and head over to smarttribesinstitute.com to discover more about how to form a smart tribe. See you there, and please tell your friends.